All right, guys, welcome back to Legends Never Die, or neither will you if you know Jesus. I've got a mail day from our good friend, Joe, Four Soft Corners. If you don't follow Joe, <laughs> he can get a little long with his videos, I'm not going to lie. But Joe's a really good dude. He collects some cool stuff. He builds sets. He likes vintage. And I'm, he's, he's one of the things that are great about the YouTube collecting community. I've really enjoyed getting to know Joe and talking to him uh, even more than I enjoy his videos. Uh, so I'm glad I made a friend. Uh, and because of YouTube, that's why we are friends. Uh, we recently did a deal, and I just wanted to open uh, what he sent me uh, because I knew one item that was coming, but the other, I have no idea. He insisted on sending me something else, which wasn't necessary. Uh, but Joe, you're the man. He put this note here first. Uh, I'm reading it for the first time right now. Jake, thank you for the deal, brother. The card is in the bubble mailer. In the larger package, I included a print that I won from our very own Eddie of Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. Oh, that's cool, man. He's, he's a good dude, too. I like Eddie. Uh, with the sole intention of gifting it to you because I felt like it belonged in your collection. I also included a letter for your Lucas Letters Project. I know it's not as fancy as you normally like them, but I'm old school, ha uh -huh. Okay. And he's got an arrow. Oh, it's got more on the back. Okay. Let's see what it says here. Uh, if you do not wish to include it in your letters for him, I fully understand, but I just wanted to let him know about the man I know his dad to be from my first-hand account. I messed that up. I, I ripped part of it on the tape, but that's, I'll have to fix that. But four soft corners, Joe. Okay, Joe. Cool idea, man. I, I'm interested to see what you did here. All right, let's uh, take some painter's tape off. Again, I didn't prep before this. Uh, you know, I'm just opening it right now because I wanted to record my reaction even if I'm not in front of the camera. Uh, man, this is kind of what I expected uh, for the print uh, once he said that because that's from Eddie's channel. And it's a Brooks Robinson, a near and dear player to my collection uh, because of my paternal grandfather. One of my only baseball memories, uh, well, my only memories of him uh, were baseball related. And uh, Brooks Robinson was one of his favorite players. So it looks like we've got a letter on the back. Let's see what this says. Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen and I'm going to read it. Dear Luca, by the time you're reading this, it undoubtedly means that your father has bestowed his collection of Luca's letters to you. I know it was a labor of love for him and represented some of the most famous and talented athletes that were heroes to him. I don't mean to let you down, but I'm not one of those famous athletes and probably not much of a hero. However, I chose to write this letter to tell you about a time your father was a hero to me. You see, your father and I met in 2022 while both making videos on the YouTube platform Although at that time, we really hadn't met in person yet, just virtually. Still on numerous occasions, your father, out of the generosity and kindness of his heart, either gifted me with cards or, on his recommendation, had others gift me with cards. I know to him it was no big deal, but to me it meant the world. I'm sure by now, over the years, you have seen firsthand this kindness and generosity from your father. But I wanted to give you my account of what he meant to a virtual stranger like me. Hopefully, if I am still around, I can meet you at a show with your dad someday. Thank you for letting me share this with you. Best of luck in everything that you do. Your friend, Joe, for Soft Corners. Joe, that's amazing, man. You didn't have to do that. That, that means a lot to me. I, I really appreciate the, the thought and the the kindness that went into this, man. I, uh, I'm going to absolutely include this with Luca's letters. It will have a special place in my collection. Wow. I'm not even going to ruin this with any more words. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for your friendship. It means a lot, man. And, uh, you guys out there, Keep collecting. God bless. I was so overwhelmed by Joe's letter, I forgot to show the card. 
<laughs> but it's a 1957 Topps Jim Bunning rookie. And uh, Joe, this is going to have a special place in my collection, man. Hall of Fame rookie card. Something I need for my 1957 Topps set. And it was from you. And from this package, man. Thanks so much again, brother.